Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack. And welcome back once more to Vega Conflict. As with what I said yesterday, today's video, and I actually did manage to produce the fleet because I forgot yesterday was time token day. Well, today, because I'm recording it on Monday. But this is... It will be the garbage trucks versus the next DDoS from the one that smashed their teeth in last time around. Now, they have one more garbage truck with them and this is after they've been buffed so let's see how they fare against the DDoS 110 I'll bring y'all back once we're in the fight this is it let's see how well they fare this time all mark 5 or elite naturally I'm gonna pilot them in to start with I'm going to get them up close where I want them to be against the Dreadnought. I want to see just how quickly they'll use it alive. And trust me, this is going to be entertaining. And I'll explain why and show why after this fight. Now, I want some of them to be shot, naturally. I want to wait. There we go, their overdrive is active. Look at that shield regeneration. They're gaining increased de There's no way they're winning this fight. There is no way, my freaking bastions take. They've left me speechless. They're they're winning to a degree. They're actually winning to a degree somehow. They they've left me speechless. I'm actually watching them beat the target right now. This is I wanted to mock them and laugh at them and say that the buff wasn't enough, but that's... Their shield was maintained the entire fight. Wow. And because it takes them so much longer to charge you up, that's... Wow. Just... Wow. <laughs> I want to see them fail again. That was completely backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and they only took 10% damage, so that's what? 3 hours repair time? So, the Bastion's, the Bastion fleet does it for around the same amount of repair time, actually. They actually do, on average, 2 hours and 45 plus minutes. So they're within the same margin of error, essentially. Okay, with that, now I have to show off the fitting, but everyone realizes what they are by now. There was a originally a plan to put Harmonic Beam Capacitor 1 on them to just increase their fleet damage. I will be doing that later. But that is just... I expected so many of them to die, and instead the vast majority of them are still around and kicking. That's just... Oh, one other thing I still need to start fitting on them is also the resistor so that they can take a little bit more plasma damage head on. But I have a recommendation for Kickstarter, and this is actually involving content. I would like to know if, for each ba basic weapon that comes out, if during the month or something like that, if replicated versions for the others could be created. So, the Tick Cannon was produced by Pharmacon, so naturally it comes with a plasma variant. But each month, during the course of the month, can we actually get a Xeno and Blight version of them as well? For the Altarians, naturally, and for the Umbra. And the reason I ask this is because the specific damage types would actually help to deal with the targets a little bit more quickly because no resistance against them. And it just makes sense to me. Ugh. Stuffy for some reason. But that's it, everybody. I just wanted to have a bit of fun with this video. 
Hope you all enjoyed it. I did. That was completely different than what I thought was going to happen. Now I have a fleet that I can use to mass farm a single target for relatively low repair time. But that's going to be it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Next video should be out tomorrow, and it will be involving the alien strike, some low-tier ships, things like that. I'm actually finishing refitting them right now. But have a good day and everything like that, and as always, everybody, I will see you in the next video.